So I've been thinking about the church lately. And uh, the body of Christ, all those who are true believers. And, uh, you know, I just think that in our modern times, we've really lost sight of what the church is and what the church is supposed to be. And uh, it's really sad because we have the scriptures, we have the Bible that we can look in and it'll tell us exactly what we're supposed to do and how we're supposed to be. You know, that's kind of like the question, what are we as Christians, what are we supposed to be? What are we supposed to do? Well, the Bible is really clear that we're supposed to walk holy, walk righteously with, with the Lord Jesus. We're supposed to make disciples. We're not supposed to sit in church and listen to great sermons or whatever. I mean, sure, people do that. Many people do that. But is that really all there is? And is that what we're really supposed to be doing? You know, Jesus didn't say, I'm going to build my church so you, you can go and fill a 1,500-seat auditorium and stand there or sit there and listen to your pastor expound these great theological sermons. I mean, think about it. What does that do for you Sunday afternoon? What does that do for you Monday morning and on into the following week? I mean, all these sermons that you've been listening to, do they change you at all? Do they help you go out and make disciples of Jesus? That's what he commanded us to do. Teach people what he taught. You know, and we, we, we make it to where we want to save people. And we don't save anyone. It's the Holy Spirit that saves people. It's the Lord Jesus that, that does this work. So I think that, you know, it's very sad that that we're just accustomed, especially in America, and I'm sure it's in other countries as well, but especially America, that we're so tuned into Bible studies and, and uh, church services. You know, I'm not saying that those things are bad, but I'm saying, what are we doing with them? How are they affecting us as Christians? You know, we're supposed to be reading our Bible and living according to God's ways and making disciples of the Lord Jesus. You know, think about this. One day, when you die and you stand before the Lord Jesus, what are you going to say? How are you going to give an account? Will there be people there around you that you brought into the kingdom? Or will it be just you and your theological degree? It, it just doesn't make any sense. We should be out there doing what the Lord Jesus told us to do, and that's building the church by discipling people and bringing them to, to the knowledge of the truth and that the Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit will make these disciples. I mean, we got in church, we got uh, tithing, which is totally unbiblical. It's only nowadays, pastors are only asking for 10% so they can keep their huge church buildings going and, and their great salaries that they make. And communion, that's a Catholic thing, communion. We have the Supper of the Lord where people sit around and they eat a meal and they praise the Lord God for His soon coming. Not this little bit of cracker and wine that we take. That's all a drawback of the Catholics. There's a lot of things that we do in church that are just not right. There's a lot of things that Christians, Protestant Christians practice that that's just not right. And you know, I don't want to come on and make a bunch of videos about how bad we are. I want to give exhortation and the good things about Christianity. So, think about those things. Pray. And see where the Lord will lead you. Amen.